What's going on guys, this is Rob, and we are back again with another installment of our Beyond Omega level series where we discuss the origins, powers, and feats of the strongest characters in comics, and this week we're discussing Scar, the son of the Hulk, which is kind of astounding that we've never ever talked about this guy before. But Scar was created by Greg Pak and John Romita Jr., and first appeared in What If Planet Hulk number 1 in 2007. So, to understand what happens in this story, we first have to talk about what happened during the actual Planet Hulk event, which is one of the best Hulk stories ever written and I have covered it in full on the channel if you guys want to go over and check that out what in the Tim what are you doing hmm oh I'm just eating some cereal damn are these all your fans Yes, Tim, these are all the members of the Rob Corps. By the way, Rob Corps, this is Tim, my brother. Tim, this is the Rob Corps. What's up? I don't get how you have so many fans, you know? You've been doing this for eight years, you got all these fans, all these people love you. I've known you for 37 years, and I still don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you eating? Um, This is Magic Spoon. Oh, is Magic Spoon sponsoring the video? Yeah, they're the ones who were sponsoring the video. There. How is it? They're good, man. You know, I like them. Um, they're like a keto, grain-free, gluten-free cereal. They're really, really good. This is the Honey Graham one. This is the one that I like the most. Um, I mean, it's good if you're on low-carb, right? So they've got like zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, like four net grams of carbs per serving. So it comes out to be about 140 calories per serving. But it's really, really good. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, well then let me give them the whole rundown on it. I would check it out. I mean, I, I just got it. I don't know if you've had it at all. Lord knows you could eat a little little healthier. Dude, really? <sighs> Let me tell you something, man. 37 years living in this world. This dude. Okay, dude, it's time for you to go. Healthy. Hey, I can talk to the Rob Corps too. I can talk to the fans. No, you Tim can't Corps. either. They don't want you're to talk to the Tim you. Corps now. You're not the Rob Corps. No, you're Corps not. Anymore. You guys Do not listen to him. Anyway, no, you're not. I'll let you him are the, the Rob Corps. You will always be the Rob Corps. You will not be the Tim Corps. Uh, yeah. Make sure you guys check out Magic Spoon. Okay, having said that, if you guys want to live a healthier lifestyle, you guys want to eat healthier foods, then make sure you click the link in the description and grab a variety pack so you guys can try it today. And be sure to use a promo code on the screen at checkout so you guys can get $5 off any order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So again, make sure you guys check out the link in the description or use the promo code on the screen now so you can get $5 off your order. And now, let's continue on with our video. So to make a long story extremely short, after Hulk destroys Las Vegas following the detonation of a gamma bomb which causes him to temporarily go crazy, a group called the Illuminati, which consists of Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, Tony Stark, Professor Xavier, Namor, and Black Bolt of the Inhumans, who sucks, they decide the Hulk is too dangerous to live on Earth, so they trick him into getting into a spaceship which they intend to send to an uninhabited planet where he can live in peace and not hurt anybody. Hulk, however, lands on a war-torn planet called Sakaar, overthrows a planet's leader, falls in love with a warrior named Kyra, who becomes pregnant with Hulk's child. Now, the people of Sakaar's capital are in the process of turning the Hulk's ship that brought him to the planet into a monument, which is going to be dedicated to him when the self-destruct sequence initiates, blowing up the city and killing Kyra. This, of course, makes the Hulk extremely pissed off, and he returns to Earth to get his revenge on those responsible for Kyra's death, kicking off the whole World War Hulk storyline. But this issue of What If imagines an alternate timeline where it was Hulk and not Kyra that was killed in the explosion, and is pretty predictable from there. Kyra goes to Earth, destroys the Avengers, leaves the Earth in ruins, and then returns to Sakaar. But when we flash forward 21 years later and we see Hulk and Kyra's son tell his mother that something is finished, we're talking about the monument of the Hulk that the citizens of Sakaar were basically building. And that's all we see of Scar during his first appearance. Now, a few months later, we see Scar actually get introduced to the main Marvel continuity in World War Hulk number five, where we see in the last panel that Scar is rising from a pile of green goo on the planet Sakaar. Now, later on, Scar would get his own series where we basically learn that he actually survived in side of a cocoon, and after he emerges from it, becomes a ridiculously capable warrior, eventually defeating a barbarian warlord that seeks to rule Sakaar. Now, Scar himself is thought by the planet's people to be their savior, but after he claims the old power, an ancient source of magic belonging to his mother's tribe, Scar becomes a danger to everybody on the planet. Now, when the Silver Surfer arrives to announce that Galactus is coming to Sakaar to feed on it, he tells Scar that if he allows his people to escape and his planet to be consumed, that the old power within the planet will keep Galactus satisfied for a hundred 
100,000 years, which means that billions of lives would be saved. Now, Scar refuses, and the two of them basically battle, with the Silver Surfer winning and stripping Scar of the old power and forcing it back to the planet's core. But in doing so, he dooms the residents of Sakaar. Now, this weakens the Silver Surfer, and Scar is able to easily defeat him and then implant him with an obedience disc, turning the Surfer into Scar's slave. Now, Scar's mother returns to life and then tries to make him see the error of his destructive ways, but he still refuses to see reason, so she strips him of the old power. Now, in a last-ditch effort to change Scar's mind, the Silver Surfer imbues him with the power cosmic and sends him to face Galactus. Now, once he has the knowledge of Galactus' power, the Surfer restores the old power, but Scar once again refuses to evacuate the planet, instead saying that if Galactus tries to consume Sakaar, that he'll draw upon the old power from every corner of the universe where it exists, which would make Galactus become addicted to it and then increase his hunger a thousand times over, so every planet in the universe will inevitably be consumed. Seeing how crazy her son is, Kyera banishes Scar from Sakaar and allows herself and the planet to be consumed. Now, this is quite a bit about his origin, so let's get to Scar's powers. Now, as you might expect, as the son of Hulk, Scar has immense superhuman strength. From the moment he broke out of the cocoon that birthed him, Scar was able to kill an entire horde of monsters from Sakaar. He was also proven significantly stronger than the Thing and was able to pierce Doctor Doom's armor with one swing of his sword. Now, his punches were strong enough to draw blood from Namor, knock the Hulk off his feet, cause earthquakes when he punched the ground, and he was somehow able to punch through a wormhole. And all of that was without the aid of the old power, which basically enhances his strength to ridiculous levels. When he was amped by the old power, Scar was able to send the Juggernaut into outer space with one punch and was able to send Worldbreaker Hulk flying into a different state with one of his punches. Of course, when thinking about the Hulk, his strength goes hand in hand with his incredible durability, and his son definitely inherited this trait from his father as well. And he has some absolutely ridiculous durability feats. So he survived swimming through molten lava and has laughed as he absorbed the blast from three dragons. Scar has also tanked punches from some of the strongest characters in all of Marvel Comics, including Juggernaut, Ares the God of War, Thor, and the Hulk. He was unaffected by attacks from the Silver Surfer, one of the most powerful characters in the universe. He's also survived being punched into outer space by Worldbreaker Hulk and falling back to Earth, so it's pretty much impossible to actually harm this guy. Even so, he does possess a regenerative healing factor, much like his father, and is able to instantly heal from basically any injury, including being stabbed with a sword as well as by Dakin, the son of Wolverine. Now, like I said earlier, Scar is at his most powerful when he has access to the old power, and he has pulled off some really, really impressive feats using the old power. For one, he's able to summon lava from the ground to incinerate multiple individuals. He was able to change his body into stone, which suggests some level of molecular manipulation. Scar also possesses some measure of enhanced perception as he's able to see the location of people on the other side of the planet and suggest that he would be able to kill them instantly if he wanted to. On one occasion, Scar was able to use the old power to absorb the energy of a nuclear meltdown, and on another instance, he was able to deliver a blast that dispelled Thor while Thor was amped with gamma radiation. He also had enough strength to impale the Worldbreaker Hulk on a spike, and most impressively, he moved the tectonic plates of Earth's crust. And if you consider the amount of damage that someone could do to the planet, by moving its tectonic plates around? Well, he could cause multiple disasters and likely rip the planet itself apart. So, the fact that he could just destroy the world, plus the fact that he's gone up against characters like Thor, Silver Surfer, and Worldbreaker Hulk, and held his own, definitely earns him a place on our Beyond Omega level characters list. But, with that being said, guys, we're gonna bring this video to an end. I'm surprised it took us so long to do this. Let me know what you guys think down in the description. Tim, I know you're still watching this. Do not show up in my videos again and I will catch you all later. Peace.